a 20-minute workout that can give you runway model legs. Jiggly cellulite on your thighs might seem annoying and hard to get rid of. But it's actually possible to achieve fit and appealing legs by doing a special set of exercises that focus on the problem zones. The best part about them is that they don't require hours of sweating. They take just 20 minutes per day and can be done anywhere, at home or at the gym, depending on your preference. Good America loves discovering new exercises for a beautiful and healthy body, and we can't keep them from you. Here's a list of 10 powerful workout sets that will help you to achieve the shape you want. 1. Single Leg Deadlift What to do? Initial position, take a dumbbell as heavy as you're comfortable lifting and stand with your feet hip width apart. Put your arms toward your thighs, knees slightly bent. Start leaning forward at your hips, putting the weight of your body onto the left leg while extending your right leg behind you. Keep this leg straight. Keep leaning until your body forms a T-shape. Your arms with the dumbbell should hang down. Keep this position for 10 to 15 seconds. After this, slowly start bringing your body to the initial position. Repeat for 3 minutes in total and don't forget to switch the legs. 2. Lateral lunge. What to do? Initial position, stand straight with your feet together and clasp your hand at chest level. With your left leg, take a big step to the side, bending your right knee at a 90 degree angle and lowering your body. Stand in this position for about 10 seconds and try to stretch your left leg. You can put your hands on the right knee to support yourself and help your body to stretch more. Hold the weight of your body on the left leg. Slowly come back to the initial position and switch your legs. Repeat for 3 minutes. 3. Box jump. What to do, initial position, stand in front of the bench or a box, feet shoulder width apart, legs slightly bent at the knees and relaxed. Engage your core, swing your arms, and keep your chest tall. Go forward as you jump on top of the bench or box. Make sure you land with both of your feet completely on the box. After this, stand up, extend your hips, and slowly step back onto the ground, returning to the initial position. Repeat for one minute. 4. Traditional sumo squat. What to do, initial position, place your feet wide, wider than hip width apart. Turn your toes so they face outward and away to the sides. Your hands should be resting on your hips. Sit down and lower your hips, bending your knees at a 90 degree angle. Imagine that you're trying to sit on a short chair. Keep your glutes engages and don't move your feet. Arms should be straight out in front of you. Make sure you keep your back neutral and tailbone down to the floor. Your knees should not go beyond your toes. Hold the position for 10 to 15 seconds and slowly return to the initial position. Repeat for 2 minutes. 5. Calf raises. What to do, initial position, stand straight with your legs relaxed and your knees slightly bent. Rise up onto the balls of your feet and push your heels up. Stand on your toes for a couple of seconds and then return to the initial position. A more advanced variation of this exercise is to perform it the same way but with just one of your legs. Simply raise one leg up and bend the knee at a 90 degree angle. Repeat in between your exercises. 6. Donkey kickback with a rubber strap. What to do? Initial position, on a yoga mat, get on all fours. Put one end of a resistance band around your right foot and place the other side of it in front of you. You can hold it with your hand so it doesn't move. Keep your abs tight, engage your glutes, and slowly kick your right leg back. Hold it straight. When fully extended, squeeze the glutes and slowly bring your leg down to the initial position. Switch your leg. Repeat for 2 minutes. 7. Lying lateral leg raise. What to do? Initial position, get a yoga mat and lie down on your right side. Extend your legs and line up your body with them. Stack your feet on top of each other. You can support yourself with your bent elbow or you can completely lie on the mat with your arms on the floor under your head. Slowly raise your left leg, engaging your thighs and glutes. When you feel the muscles in your lower back or obliques tense, stop the raise. This is an indicator that you're doing everything right. Hold your leg up for a couple of seconds and slowly return it to the initial position. Repeat for one minute. 8. Glute bridge. What to do? Initial position, lie flat on your back and bend your knees at approximately 45 degrees. Keep your feet apart at a hip-wide distance. Engage your core and legs and push through your heels to lift your hips up. Squeeze your glutes. Hold this position for 10 seconds and then slowly return back to the initial position. Repeat for 2 minutes. 9. K 
plie squat calf raises. What to do? Initial position, start from a sumo squat position by placing your feet wider than hip width apart. Turn your toes so they look out and away to the sides. Hands should be resting on your hips. Perform a squat until your thighs are parallel to the floor. While in a squat, try to lift both of your feet off the ground. Stay in this position for a couple of seconds, then slowly return back. Repeat for one minute. 10. Curtsy lunge. What to do? Initial position, stand straight with your legs hip width apart, resting your hands at your hips. Now, with your right leg, take a big step back, bending the knee at a 90 degree angle. Cross this leg behind your left one. While bending your knee, lower the hips to make the left thigh parallel to the floor. Make sure to keep your torso straight and hold this crossed leg position for 5 to 10 seconds. Slowly return back. Repeat for 2 minutes. Do you suffer from cellulite? Do you know other techniques or exercises to get slim legs? Let's share them in the comment section.